So that's the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah. What would you do? Say you were in apple or banana shoes. Well, um. If my erstwhile criminal associate Banana is gonna keep his mouth shut. So if they both stay quiet, they only get two years. If they both confess, they get 10. What? That doesn't make sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Then the best choice for me is to spill the beans. That way I only serve one year. But, what if he confesses too? Then the smart thing would be for me to do the same. After all, if he cuts a deal and I don't, then I'll spend 15 years in prison. If I confess, I can shave 5 years off of that. Then it seems like the best choice is always going to be confess. Not if you both stay quiet. Or one confesses and one stays quiet. Interesting. But you're forgetting something important. Which is? That Banana will be thinking the same thing. So you'll both confess, and you'll both end up serving 10 years. Do you get it? If you both trusted each other, then neither of you would have served more than two years. But because you both made the decision based on your own self-interest, you're going to spend eight more years in prison. In other words, the logical decision leads not only to a less desirable outcome on the group level, but also a pretty shitty situation on the personal level, too. No prison would give that, that type of choice, though. You get less years if you stay silent than if you confess. You see now? The A-B game is the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah. They are pretty much the same thing. If we trust Alice, we can both increase our BP by two. But if we don't trust each other, in the long run, it won't benefit either of us. Hmm. Yeah, but this is where it gets interesting. Let's say for a moment all nine of us are on one team. Who would we be playing against? Zero, of course. Right. So we can assume the nine of us are fighting Zero in the A-B game. If you look at it that way, what would we want to do to beat him? <sighs> Just look at the point totals. Say we all picked Ally. What would our total points be? Oh, uh, well, 2 times 9 is 18, so why would it be times 9? 18 points. How do you work that out? Okay, now let's say one of the pairs chooses Betray. The pair who picks Betray will get 3 points each, so in total they'll have 6 points. But the solo they portrayed will have two points subtracted, so the total gain for that game would only be four points. The other two groups would choose ally for that round, right? Yeah. So for the other teams, you'll all get six points, six each, which will give you two times six is twelve plus four, 16 po points total. So what does that tell you? If we consider all nine of us to do to be on the same team, we need to all always choose ally to get the most points. 
if even one person chooses betray, the total points we get goes down. Exactly. In this game, if each individual acts for the benefit of the whole group, everyone benefits. Which is what I like, want to be able to do. But I'm going to do betray first. But if everyone starts looking out for themselves, it'll impact the group negatively. And eventually, it'll impact them negatively too. If all of us choose betray, then the group gets zero points. Ultimately, nobody benefits. Not even the individual. In other words, selfish but logical decisions hurt everyone. And they hurt you. Okay, I think I get it. What are you saying is that I should pick ally? No, I mean the opposite. What? If you're going to make the most logical choice here, the only option is betray. What? Why? You just explained why that was a terrible idea. No, I didn't. It's not the prisoner's solution. It's the prisoner's dilemma. Even though there's an outcome where everybody's happy, the choice you'd have to make for that outcome isn't the rational one. You want to pick it, but you can't. A dilemma. If we choose Ally, and Alice does too, then yes, it'll be great. But if we pick Ally, and Alice picks Betray, we'll be down two points. All three of us will get two points. That would be ideal, obviously. And it would help everybody. But what if Alice chooses Betray? Yep, we would lose two points. Our BP will go down to one. Right. And if that happens, we're screwed. So... 20 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Unless we can be certain that Alice will choose Ally, we don't have a choice. We have to choose Betray. We kind of do have a choice because we're on three points. We'd only be going down to one. Unfortunately, we don't have any way to know that for certain. That means we have to make the rational choice. It would be great to make the right choice, but we can't. Because there is no right and wrong choice. Well, there kind of is, but... Hey, did you just say we're screwed? If you don't mind telling me, what did you mean by that? I'm guessing something happens if our BP hits zero, right? I mean, the way you said it sure makes it seem like something's going to happen. Do you know something? You do know something. What are you hiding? Yeah, you know, there's been something weird about you from the moment we met. I mean, for starters, how do you know my name? Oh, knock it off. This is getting old. I don't care if it's getting ancient. This is important. I don't know you, but you seem to know me somehow. The only explanation I can think of is that m that makes any kind of sense is that you're working with Zero. What about you? What? Are you working with Zero? Me? Why would you think that? You're too calm. You wake up trapped in some kind of twisted game and it doesn't even phase you. That hardly seems normal. Oh, come on. I could ask you the same thing. Don't change the subject. We're talking about you. You change the subject first. Maybe you actually do know me. What? Where the hell did that come from? Look, I already told you. I've never seen you before in my life. We haven't seen a lot of that. What's that? Sigma. 
What the? Just let it go. Our time's up. This is it. Before, well, before it ends, I wanted to tell you thanks. You know we're about to die, but you still stuck with me. So, thank you, Sigma. Goodbye. That was confusing. What the? What? What was that? What's wrong? I saw. Saw what? The, the explosion. Explosion? I think there's a bomb somewhere in this building. I'm not sure, but it sounded like it was on a timer. You and I were trying to stop it, but we couldn't do anything and... 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 Whoa! Sigma! Calm down! What are you talking about? Yeah. Ah. Uh, what is it now? My head. It hurts? Yeah. You know, you said it hurt when you first woke up in the AB room too. It didn't just hurt. It felt like it was going to explode. Are you all right? I think so. Maybe you should rest a little. Yeah, maybe I could just lay my head on your lap. Uh, what, Sigma? Of course. I shouldn't have worried. Fi and I spent the rest of the time until the door opened in silence. The AB game was forgotten as I tried to make sense of what I'd seen. Had it been real in any way? Or was it just a hallucination brought on by stress or maybe some strange drug that dosed me with while I was out? It had seemed real though. Was it a premonition? I had to sti stifle a bark of laughter at the thought. Seeing the future, this wasn't some crappy sci-fi novel. This was real life. Things like that didn't happen. I was just tired. The stress of the nunnery game was probably getting to me more than Fire thought. I was tired and I was emotional. A hallucination was strange. But really, it was perfectly understandable. But what if I wasn't losing it? What if I was fine? What if it hadn't been an hallucination? I sat there for what felt like hours, my mind running in circles. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. What the hell was that? What, do you need a translator? If you don't vote fast enough, then it'll set your vote to ally. Make sense, or do I need to use smaller words? So, if you plan to pick ally, then you don't even really need to go into the AB room. I guess not. We're already in here, though. So, we might as well figure out what we're gonna do. What's it gonna be, Sigma? Ally or betray? Betray! Why are you asking me? You made it pretty clear that we should choose Betray. Well, I didn't say should. I just said we didn't really have a choice. That's the same thing. It's completely different. The former is an active opinion. The latter is just passive information. Uh... Don't know how you come to that. Whatever. You still want to bet Betray, right? Yeah. Then why did you ask me? 
so we never really finished our conversation from earlier. You said that we'd be screwed if our BPs dropped to one. What did you mean by that? Is something going to happen if our BP gets to zero or something? We die. And how do you know that? We did find that out in the other timeline. What? If our BP drops to zero, we die. The needles in our bracelets activate. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, how the hell do you know that? Zero never said anything about it. I don't know. I swear, I don't. I just... I know somehow. There's just this feeling I've got. Like, that's what'll happen. It's like when we open the door to this AB room. There's no one here. So you're expecting the dead lady to be any? To find her? Oh, come on. That again. You fed me the same line when I asked you why you knew my name. How can you know all these things when there's no way on earth? Wait, did you see it? What? Did you have some sort of, I don't know, premonition? What? What the hell are you talking about? You sounded like a crazy person the first time, too. Then you haven't. Seriously, Sigma, are you okay? I think there's something wrong with you. This was wrong. Fire was supposed to be acting strange, not me. Instead, here she was asking if I was okay. But what if it wasn't just her? What if I was losing it too? I groaned. My head felt awful. It was like someone had thrown my brain in a food processor and hit puree. One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. Hey, it's almost time. What are you gonna pick? If you aren't going to do it, then I... No, I'm fine. I'll do it. You're gonna choose Betray, right? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Alright. Take it away. 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Yep. I was thinking, did we get a choice here? We do. I stood in front of the selection screen and took a deep breath. This was it. I ran over my options one last time. There was only one possible choice. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. As Fire and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the projection, projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. I did the right thing, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. You were right there. You watched me choose Betray. Oh. Well, what choice did you have? That's the kind of game this is. Yo! What's up? Siggy! kids doing over there we're about to announce the results let's go we'll find out if you made the right choice all right good 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 <laughs> looks like you're all here finally let's get ready to rock If everybody
Bunny would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Yep. Of course she was going to go ally. Kay and Clover betrayed Tenmuji? Oh. They all allied though. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Four of us have six. Ouch. Huh? That was quite a smack. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. Don't you realize what you've done? I'm sorry, Alice. Of course. We chose Betray. Hence the slaps. Yep. Right. Come on now, I think once was enough. A thousand times wouldn't be enough. I don't think you understand just how bad this is. I'm sorry. This isn't the kind of thing you can just apologize for. Then what am I supposed to do? The fact that you're even asking that question is insane. How stupid are you? Alice, why did you choose Ally? Can you even hear yourself? It's almost like you're saying I'm the idiot for choosing Ally. We didn't say that. Haven't you ever heard of the prisoner's dilemma? Yep. We have. Then why, for fuck's sake, did you choose Betray? Because... I'm doing the Betray options first. But also... Because... We all get out of here quickest if everyone should I die. was told to. <laughs> Any idiot can see that. So, why did you? Because Fire won't admit to telling me to do Betray, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry. Really, I feel terrible. So... Forget it. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. You'll pay for this. Alice stormed off. She threw one last her scornful look over her shoulder as she left, and it stabbed me right through the heart. One of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really don't know what I can say. We had no idea you would choose Ally. No way I'd choose Betray. I'm with Clover on the other side. What does he have with Clover? He trusts her more than anything. Does... do they know each other? What? What do you mean? Why does he trust Clover so much? Why would he only... Why would he not betray because Clover's on the other side of the team? Do you have an interest in Clover? Yeah. What? No, no. It kind of seems like it. That's not... No. And it's very disturbing if you did. What is it then? Such an age difference. Well, um... You'd have to be crazy to pick Ally. The only way it'd make any sense to do that is if you really, really trusted the other person. So you're saying you don't trust me then? Duh! Are you senile? Why the hell would I trust some old geezer I just met a few hours ago? Ah, uh, I see. Say no more. Didn't think it'd hurt this much. Huh? Betrayal. What's that supposed to mean? It feels very disgusting to say, but an old man like that interested in a young girl like her, he's feeling betrayed by her saying that. You're starting to get kind of creepy. Yeah, very much so. Creepy, huh? 
Yep. I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust. Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Well, looks like those guys managed to get through this all right. Figure that means the fault here's got to be mine. Huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Yeah. Right, Mr. Dio? Yeah. I'm surprised Dio went ally. Exactly. Dio, Quark, and Luna, on the other hand, seem to have resolved things amicably by all choosing ally. No doubt we were all uh, wishing we'd done the same. But why had Dio sounded so awkward? Why had happened in the AB room? Only Dio and Quark knew for sure. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Because you've told us that it keeps going until someone escapes the number nine door. And that's not possible yet. Well, you said round one. That too. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get nine BP? Yep, not possible after just one round. That's impossible without a second round. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right, you are. So, let me just close them. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round two of the Ambidex game will be the moon round. Moon cards will be required to open Back to a spot we've already seen. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be 10 Mialdi or less. One or the other. Or... <gasps> it might be both of them. Because they're both on one point. And they're talking about who might die. <laughs> what? Why am I going to die? Hmm... I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is! Death. <laughs> you mean the needles in our bracelets are gonna activate and we'll die? Correct, Ziggy. Full marks. Full marks? So, Fire had been right. But how had she known before Zero told us? I see. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. It's still not fair to leave such a big detail out of it. Right? Right, Fido? It kind of does make a big difference because knowing that means only people who want to kill their opponent or the person they're voting against would vote betray. 
Yeah. I guess so. I took a moment to go over everything in my head 